the August gathering. A wonderful and pleasant morning to this gathering and offering my humble pranamam at the lotus feet of His Holiness Jagat Guru Padma Bhushna Shri 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 Dr. Baladangatranatha Mahaswami Ji and seeking our blessings of Shri 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 Dr. Nirmalanandanatha Mahaswami Ji, President Shri Adi Chanchanagari Sikshina Trust and Shri Shri Dr. Prakash Nath Swami Ji, Managing Director of PGS and SJP Group of Institutions. I Smita Brijesh, I deem it my pleasure and privilege to welcome each and every valuable member to this forum where today we are going to explore a plethora of emotions and vibrancy. On behalf of the BGS NPS family, I humbly welcome Dr. S. Gopinathan sir, the Chief Guest for the day. Our dynamic and vibrant principal man, Dr. Manali Mdetta. Our, our zestful Vice Principal Man, Srimati Savita Suwarma. Our ever supporting headmistress ma'am, Srimati Pushpa Hegde. And our ever supporting parents and guardians who play a pivotal role in the you know, implementation and the success of every event that we conduct at BGS NPS. I know it's a lazy Saturday morning. I guess we will have more vibrancy as we move on with the programs and our children are really excited to exhibit their talents and they have you know, filled this entire atmosphere with a lot of vibrancy. So I hope all of you will have a wonderful day and you will enjoy the program. So moving on. Faith and prayer are the vitamins of the soul and here we have the team of dancers to bring in the joy of movement and to start it great. So let us all sit back and enjoy the hidden movement of and language of soul through the invocation dance. A note here, the complete invocation dance has been choreographed by our students. So I hope you will have a wonderful time by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. I request the team to be on the stage. Thank you. 
As a certified handwriting expert, Sir has a keen understanding of the psychological aspects of handwriting. He has used his expertise to produce insight into personality traits, behavior patterns, and potential for personal growth through his handwriting analysis. Dr. Gopinathan has also authored numerous research papers and articles in the field of management and handwriting improvement in education. I request our beloved principal man to kindly honor Sir on behalf of BJS NPS families. Showcasing the multifaceted talents 
of our students who have dedicated countless hours to honing their skills in various artistic disciplines. The theme of this year's cultural day for grade six, sorry, seven and eight is Anubhuti. It encapsulates the essence of our school community. We are a diverse and inclusive family representing myriad cultures, languages and traditions. It is in this tapestry of diversity that we find our strength. As we learn from one another, transcending boundaries and prejudices of to forge the bonds of unity and understanding. Through our performances and exhibitions today, we aim to celebrate this harmony that binds us all together. The sheer magnitude of talent on display today is awe-inspiring. From mesmerizing musical performances that transfer the spectrum of emotions to the dazzling display of choreography that transports us to the different corners of our feelings. A world that is so vibrant, from the vibrant strokes of a painter's brush to the intricacies of a sculpture's hand, our students have poured their hearts and souls into their craft. It is a testament to their dedication, perseverance and the guidance of our devoted teachers. To our parents, I extend my deepest and heartiest appreciation for entrusting us with the education and development of your children. Your support and encouragement are the pillars upon which our school stands and your presence here today reinforces the significance of our momentous occasion. Thank you dear parents. Please see the journey of Anubhuti along with our students. In conclusion, I wish each and every one a day filled with wonder, inspiration and a profound sense of unity. Let us revel in the artistic tapestry that our students have woven with their talents and may the spirit of Anubhuti continue to thrive within the walls of our esteemed institution. Our Swamiji's vision of imparting excellence in education, creating the realms of discipline and the wide plethora of vistas made for our students' participation is beyond our expectations. Seeking his blessings, let us start the journey and the festivities. Let it commence. Thank you and welcome my dear parents once again. Thank you, ma'am. We all know that the hardest thing is to have feelings in your heart which you cannot put into words. So today, the team of class 8 have tried to make the impossible possible through Anandhoti. Here, we present to you the plethora of expressions that act as the guiding force in our lives. Each rasa has its own unique flavor and significance, offering us a glimpse into the diverse range of feelings that color our life. So let's explore it through Anandhoti. So let's start. Can any of you guess what the first rasa might be? Anyone can raise their hand for answering. Yes, Shrikar is the right answer. Tum prema ho, tum preet ho, man meet ho, radhe, mere man meet ho. Shrikar is not just something to do with looks on the outside, but it showcases the emotion of love. It represents the purest, purest form of feelings within one's soul. It has two very evident forms, which are Yoga Shankar, which is the love between two went together, and the Yoga Shankar, the sorrowful feeling of detachment when two loved ones are apart. And the perfect symbol for Shingar Rasa is the marvelous couple of all time, Radha and Krishna. So, now here is class 8i presenting the Shingar Rasa. Can we enter, welcome them with a big round of applause? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
us from stress and that was definitely the definition of Hasya. What a charismatic performance by class 8C. Moving on. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love, said by Mother Teresa. When we do something we love and truly enjoy, we have a different feeling behind it, right? Can any one of you raise your hand to talk about something you enjoy or love doing and how you feel about it? Anyone in the audience? Happy, right? I think the word we are looking for is compassion or karuna. Compassion is something we experience around us in our everyday lives, knowingly or unknowingly. So here comes class AG to show us how karuna does have plays an important role in our lives. Can you please welcome them with a big round of applause?
you, AJ, for such a wonderful performance. Let's move on to the next song. Veerathe vide, nenjile veerathe vide, veetil in dal varadi veeram, veetil chayal in le veeram, veetil chayal in le veeram, veetil chayal le veeram. Courage on me is the quality that separates the strong from the weak. The people who have it don't care about risking their lives without any fear. The quality that defines one's character and inspires us in leaps and bounds. So here's eight. So here's class eight B to show us we in the form of dance.
resilience. Together the team and two in a board that become of courage and strength.
non teaching staffs parents and uh, my dear children what to say what a what an anubhuti today uh, the years back we what we used to see on movies now we could see on stage vibrant children i don't know the parents who remember 30 years back when we were in schools the kind of treatment what we used to receive and kerala the teacher beats more shouted to more cruel as said to be the best teacher among parents max teachers were treated like drunkards <laughs> right <laughs> today our children are so lucky child centric education every teacher is like an angel to them right <laughs> cultural festival what actually remain me few centuries back some foreigners through sea came and they are trying to teach us the culture the culture of people they came here to do they are teaching us what is the culture you have primitive you have to be culture so funny now we have landed in mood i to be so proud of it says like in bhagavad gita विद्या विनय संपन्न ब्राह्मणे गेविहस्ति विद्या विनय संपन्न टू लर्न गेट दिस विद्या विद विनय हंबलनेस ह्यूमिलिटी सुनिश्चेव सर्वाचे पंडिता समदर्शन देन यू बिकम ए स्कॉलर देन यू विल रीच टू दैट स्टेज यू विल बी एबल टू सी द एंटायर क्रिएचर विद इक्वालिटी and they also gave us four roots salt brahma the object the, the fact pramanam the document see gravity is a fact to learn gravity you need a document pramanam prameya the third one the root the target last one is prametha the one who do it Unfortunately, this was not given to us when we were in school. Am I right, my dear? <laughs> Today is my 16th wedding anniversary. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, with your permission, just after this speech, I will leave because I have to reach to Avram because the next wedding anniversary also I want to celebrate. <laughs> I think you are here for a different purpose, not to listen to me or anything. But I am so happy to be here. Seeing this wonderful performance, they are doing it like <laughs> remarkable, remarkable performance. As they were actually talking about me. You know, when we were students, sir, this is for my children. It was about, it was all about competition when I was a student. Competition with your own brother also. Competition. It's a kind of a rat race. Am I right? You all remember? Study, study, study. Entrance, catch entrance. Do this, do that. Full of that. And I never knew that through this rat race, you also, if you win, also you are a rat. <laughs> Three, four years of hardship. I landed up in IIT Chennai. Then I realized I don't have that engineering aptitude. Three months, somehow I survived. Then I ran away. I'm a drop out of IIT. Now I look back and think, what went wrong? Because my brother was doing his engineering, so my mother decided. This one is also going to be an engineer. <laughs> so three, four years of hardship. If I invest that something else, I would have been a scientist. <laughs> the kind of hardship to crack this kind of exam. That do with force, not out of your interest. My dear parents, my humble request to you: 
guide our children, find out what they want. Please. I had an year of depression in my life. After dropping out, people used to ask, Why, what happened? Have they removed, I mean, you know, suspended you, displaced you? I know what exactly happened. I didn't understand anything. My mind is not an engineer's mind. Great to engineers. Mind is in the literature, science, management. Nobody realized it. After this tragedy, I realized. <laughs> but you no need to go through this kind of tragedy to realize what exactly you need in your life. Am I right? So allow me, bless me, that I should be with my life in another, with my wife in another 20, 30 more years. I want your blessings. Thank you, one day you. Thank you. Words. Now, moving on towards the next song, we have a twist. Here, we will be giving you a clue. Okay, so here's the first one. Ami Mon Julika. We all have heard this famous dialogue, haven't we? Of course, who wouldn't have? Can any one of you guess the name of the famous movie? Yes. Bhul Bhulaya is the right answer. Bhai, this ke jeevan mein nahi hota hai. Bhai, literally meaning fear, is something we all have within us. In our childhood, when we made a mistake, we got scared, didn't we? And there are several types of fears which we face in our everyday lives. Few to mention are Adhand bhai, fear of losing property, theft. Ajiva bhai, fear from non-living like earthquakes or natural calamities. And now, here comes 8A, representing the bhayana krasa, depicting the fears we face in our lives. Let's welcome them with a big round of applause.
and we decide the thing that we discuss thus. Vibhatsya or half abharit is considered as a less glamorous emotion, but it plays a crucial role in our lives. It's like our body zone built in quality control system. Helping us make healthier choices, maintain cleanliness, and stay safe. While it may not be pleasant, understanding Vibhatsya can lead to a deeper appreciation of how it insects us to uh, guide ourselves to a safer and more hygienic existence. Pranita, do you know the meaning of Vibhatsya? It is a strong feeling of not liking or not approving something or somebody that you feel is unacceptable or something or somebody that looks, smells, no. So here comes class 8 health to present us with a wild yet vivacious performance. Thank you, John.
के ग्रंथ का वर्ड इज अध्यता मीन इट सिंपल वर्ड अध्यता मींस वंडरफुल डू यू नो दैट अध्यता इज यूज्ड टू डिस्क्राइब समथिंग इज इनक्रेडिबल यू लाइक देम वेरी मच और आर इंप्रेस्ड बाय देम बिकॉज़ दे आर एक्सट्रीमली और अनयूजुअली गुड adhuta the rasa of wonder opens our minds to the infinite possibilities of the universe for example if the chandrayaan 3 was an earthquake but do you know these days is the scientists who are doing the miracles but what was it in the olden days any guesses of course it's the, of course it's the supreme power with this i would like to uh, recite the first few four lines of the hanuman chalisa shri guru charan saroj raja ye javan devotees reverence for lord hanuman and the and the desire for spiritual and mental purification hanuman is one of the gods who has done a lot of miracles so here comes the incredible class of ad to present an incredible performance on the miracle done by lord hanuman jora ji chappaya ji ke saath ki sona
class 8F. Can we give them a big round of applause? We have laughed with Hasya, we shed tears with Karuna, felt the power of anger with Laudra, and celebrated heroism with Veera. Shringara, the rasa of love and lust, reminds us that love is the thread that leads through all our emotions, connecting us to each other and to the world. We also experienced fear with Dhyana, contemplated disgust with Dhivatsya, and marvel at the wonders of Adhuta. Through the serried notes of Shanta, we found peace and tranquility, reminding us that amidst of all these emotions, there is a place for serenity and inner calm. And now, to show all the Nasas once again together, here are the students of class 8E and 8K. Can we welcome them with a big round of applause?
morning to one now present here. I have been now will take over from here. As we conclude this journey, let us carry the wisdom of the Navarasas with us. We understand that these emotions are the colors of our life standards and it is to their interplay that we create our own unique masterpiece. Navarasas are the nine fundamental emotions that have inspired artists for centuries. Today, our talented friends will take you on a melodious journey, expressing these rasas through their musical performance. Music is a universal language that can express emotions without words. Now, I invite you to immerse yourself in this unique experience. I would request Mita Ma'am to take a walk. Thank you. My dear parents, how was the Josh? Yes, our students were high on Josh. I request the parents also to please cooperate and please stay with us towards the end of the program. All of them have put in a lot of effort to put up this show for all of you. So let us not be very selfish about our own child. All these are our own children. I, I hope that you agree with us, isn't it? When we consider each and every child as ours, so we appreciate the same understanding from your side. Thank you so much. Yes, moving on till the stage is set here. Now, Gopinath sir, he was mentioning about the opportunities which parents, which we as parents have got in our days. Though most of us are not very old, I know, but still in our days we can say. So here, um, let us have an opportunity. Many of you might not have got this opportunity before, I guess. So let, you know, the BJ's NPS family give you the opportunity to be in the limelight today and take you back to your school days. Now, do we have a courage we are talking about? We are talking about you now all the rasas. Now let us see how many rasas all of you can depict here. I want a very courageous parent from class 8K. Can I see the hands of the parents who are from 8K? Let us show the courage now. Yes? So uh, my team is our team is there around with the mic. I want one of the courageous parents, uh, one of the parents to recite any rhyme that you have learned in your primary days. Now we have seen our children depicting the courage, the anger, all the emotions. Let us let us see how how we are in tandem with them. Anyone parent from 8K? There are goodies for you. Let me make it clear so that you will be more encouraged to participate. Yes, ma'am, please. Can we have a big round of applause for the courage? We have our headmistress, ma'am, Pushpa, ma'am. Ma'am, did our, did our teacher approve to that, right? Not with the rhythm is what ma'am is saying. Probably over the years we have forgotten the rhythm. Okay. Fine, with the rasa. Now if we are saying courage, probably courageously you will have to recite the rhyme. I can give opportunity to one more parent. Yeah, we have a madam here. Yes sir. Yes sir. Sorry? Yeah. Mary had a little Uh, 8B 
This is not at all acceptable. What have you done? This is no. I I can't take this. Huh? I am going. Yeah, I am going. I really hope so. That was not for us. Yes. I mean, blessing in disguise probably for you, but I don't take it that way. Thank you, sir. Okay, probably you wanted to say Ishika room that and you are not able to say at home, right? Okay. Fine. Now, uh, many of us might have experienced that, I mean, we ourselves can sometimes you know, consider ourselves very funny, which others don't. Right? We crack it and we expect others to laugh at it, but then they don't, they don't cooperate with us. I am giving you, we are giving you an opportunity to make this audience laugh. So can we have some Hasya Rasa? Anyone who can make this audience laugh, any antic that you want to do, you are welcome. Yes, we do we have any parent? Come on. I know Hasya Rasa is really tough. Again, I'm going back to the previous results. Can we have some courageous parent coming over here to make us laugh? By the end of the day, we all had a wonderful day. So let us smile. Any PJ? The audience appropriate PJ, of course. <laughs> no one? Fine. Achha. Now let us go to the next one. The Batsya which we discussed it. I will take it as embarrassment. Many of us had our share of embarrassing uh, no, experiences in our life at childhood. Probably a teacher scolding us or at the same time, a paper, uh, no teacher appreciating us in front of the class or something and we are feeling embarrassed because we are the only one being appreciated at that time. So would anyone want to share any of such experience where you have been embarrassed and still you take that emotion with you? In your childhood days, I know you would have your own share of memories. No one? All of you were wonderful? Very confident? Or? I will say my embarrassing moment, I am I'm with a broken leg today and it's really embarrassing to rip, in, you know, rip around and so that is one of my embarrassing moments at present. Correct? So probably that can be that I can share boldly that I am embarrassed about it. So maybe all of us have our embarrassing moments, right? Probably it's a learning for us. Yes, we have one parent, so much. I think inspired by my, you know, anecdote. Yeah, hi, my name is Yaruni Panda. I am Anukritya Panda's father. Okay, sir. I have a very uh, nice memory in my school days. So I was very naughty and <laughs> I did a fun with my teacher and he punished me in front of uh, the common room. There was a teacher's common room. So what he did, he asked me to kneel down in front of the common room. And then I was kneeling down, some other teachers came. What, uh, what he did, somebody asked. And he said that, no, whoever is sitting here, our teachers are his brother. Uh, he is saying, no, <laughs> this boy, that boy, <laughs> and everyone was coming, and then I was laughing, and they are just pulling my ears, <laughs> and then go back. So that is a interesting situation, but I was enjoying it. <laughs> okay, now one very open-ended question to all of you. I mean, your conscious side will speak for this. Uh, talking about the end with peace, isn't it? I am taking it for granted that all of us assembled in this auditorium are peace-loving. Yes. Peace-loving people. We are here for our children. But can I have the hands up of the parents who have never felt frustrated or are still in the Zen mode when you are stuck up in a traffic? Oh, I have. I'm so amazed to see at least three hands up there. We have got three people up there who are still probably listening to the FM or you know, uh, being thankful that they have got some uh, you no know, need time for themselves inside in the car or the vehicle that they are driving. So really, I mean, that's a, that's a good percentage. Three of three of us amongst so many. Five. So we are so called peace loving people, and we will maintain that. And we have got the team here. Yes. Next, can I have all of your mobiles in your hand? In this no, era where we are, this, this particular part of our body is the most important and most crucial part for us. We keep tapping our mobiles, ordering various things. I will just tell a letter, okay? You 
have to just type in the note uh, in the note you can type the number of apps that comes to your mind starting with that letter let me see how tech savvy you are if you give our students probably they'll come with not n number so the parents you have got the opportunity here uh any suggestion for the letter g <laughs> pardon c and z i will not say that since you are comfortable with that now i will say why Why? Yes, why? Why? Come on. Let me see. Within the count, at the count of ten, how many apps you can type, and then you'll seal it so that you know our team members will come around and you can read out the app name, name of the apps. Tick tick one. Tick tick two. No, man. You just type it. Don't scream it loud. We have people who cannot copy it. Yes. So tick tick one. Tick tick two. Tick tick three, tick tick four, five. Some of them are frantically trying. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lock your jaw. Anyone who has got five apps typed, let us be sincere here, na? We are talking about students. More than five? Okay, five is there. More than five? More than five apps being typed? Okay, fine. Five man can you then? More than five? Anyone can you see the hands tall up? Five, yeah, five apps. Can you give the parcel mic and let me know, please, sir? And others have to validate it because I'm not much aware of the apps. So please validate whether the apps, the names are correct. The mic is still going on. Being passed. Fine, fine, ma'am. You can say. You can tell. Passed. Can you hold the mic closer so that we can listen to you?
I request the parents that give me an opportunity to thank everyone and then we will discuss for lunch which is served in the multi-purpose hall. So I stand here as a proud member of BGS NTS family to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every member who made this possible today. I would like to start by thanking our Pooja Mahaswamiji and our Swamiji, our school management, who have always been supportive to all our initiatives and have encouraged us to strive for excellence. I extend my heartfelt gratitude in absentia to our esteemed guest for the day, Dr. S. Gopinathan sir, whose gracious presence has added umpteen value to this event. My dear audience, courage to fulfill vision comes from passion and not just from position. And we have our principal man, Dr. Manni Mdatta, whose passion to excel has conceptualized this event. We really thank you, ma'am, for your resourcefulness and the support that you have provided throughout. The cardinal roles played by our vice principal, ma'am, Srimati Savita Suwarna, and headmistress, ma'am, Srimati Pushpa Hegde is much appreciated here. Ma'am, especially Pushpa, ma'am, she teaches in whenever we require help with respect to the staff members, the hands, the, we are talking about the human resource that we require to make such event a, a big success. And my dear parents, how to forget each and every one of you who have always been a ray of sunshine in our lives, in all our endeavors. Thank you for making this event extraordinary with your presence. And we all know that there are dreamers and there are planners, but then we have got a bunch of diligent and no, diligent and hardworking young minds and their mentors in the form of our teachers and students. So a big round of applause for all these young children who have performed here and the various hands in the form of their teachers, class teachers, before class teachers or other subject teachers who have been instrumental to train them throughout. It has been going on for one more than one month now. A lot of hard work has been put in and we have seen the show today. We also have so many invisible well-wishers behind the stage, right from the team, uh, from the computer department who manage the AV today, our sound specialist Mr. Manju, our housekeeping staff, and other members from the admin who have been on the toes to ensure a seamless execution. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of them. And of course, we have got our members from the art department, and we have got Sudeesh sir here, who ensures that each and every special movement of your ward is being captured. So once again, thank you parents for such a wonderful and euphoric moment. Till we meet again, let me say goodbye to each one of you and we expect such wonderful support from all of you every time. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day ahead. Please have lunch. The lunch is being served in the multi Thank you. Thank you. We'll stand up for the national anthem, all of you.